Hey, what's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, we're going to be talking about a fragrance from Frederick Mall called Rose and Queer. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, we really do appreciate it and we hope that you're all doing fantastic. If this is your first time landing here at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, go show some love over at Red Lessons. Thank you so much. Then come on back over here and click that bell icon so you don't miss any notifications on future content that I upload here to BFL. Frederick Mall is a house that I love. There are so many houses that I love. One of the many houses that I love. You're a it's fan. It's a great one, of course, yes. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, though, from the houses that you and I both love, we have a lot of fragrances. We're kind of underrepresented in each of our I know what collections. You, you only have how many you have. And, and I don't have as many as I would like to have. I don't want to say in case you're, you know. It's okay. No, I really don't mind. I mean, in total or just when it comes to Frederick Mall fragrances? Frederick Mall. Oh, I think I have two. I think I have Lo de Ver and I have, um, oh gosh, uh, Mousse Bravageur. Mousse Bravageur, that's right. the most famous one. And actually, <laughs> I have two bottles of that, yeah. I thought when I was speaking my mouth, always running my mouth as usual, that you only had Mousse Bravageur. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you gave me that one, remember? <laughs> no. Oh, no, I gave you three Van Noten. So then you have three then. Oh, okay, I have three then. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anywho, Frederick Mall released a new release last year in 2019. Um, it's one of my favorite perfumers who was the nose behind this particular fragrance, Rose and Queer. Um, the reason why I haven't reviewed it or obtained it was because someone in the community who happens to be a reviewer and he loves a lot of Frederick Mall kind of gave it like a low score. Okay. So subconsciously I never went looking for it. Sure, that happens to me a lot too. But a few months later, I bought something, I believe it was at Saks or wherever it was. I got a sample and I was like, whoa, this is good. <laughs> I like it. So um, I went and picked up a bottle and here it is. That's cool. 100 roll bottle of Rose and Queer from Frederick Mall. I like this company, you know, they definitely have a lot of attention to detail and the perfumers are allowed to use whatever materials they wish. So some of them end up being very pricey compositions, but you can tell because the quality is there. And of course they have a diverse range of perfumers, mm -hmm. whether we're talking about like Maurice Roussel or in this case, Jean-Claude Elena. And Jean-Claude Elena, um, of course, is responsible for many fantastic Hermes creations. Mm -hmm. uh, but here he, you know, put his hand to a perfume that contains rose and geranium, black currants, Sichuan pepper, vetiver, cedar, just a ton of amazing ingredients. But you have to be a lover of rose and leather, I think, in really, <laughs> really in order to appreciate this fragrance thoroughly because I do definitely pick up on a lot of both. What do you think? I think that um, it's definitely done in a classic uh, Jean-Claude Elena style, whereas it's transparent-ish, but there's a complexity that always bubbles to the surface with any of his works. Mm -hmm. um, I get rose here and I get a very damp and dewy freshness. Yeah, I know. I know what you're getting at here. It has like this musky thing going on in here. And I know that's coming from the black currant. And he's done this musky citrusy thing before. It might be called like Eau de Citron Noir or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. And it has a similar vibe, but of course this one is peppery, more leathery. It has that sort of bright minty fresh thing that Carlos is talking about on account of the geranium. But I like the fact that there's a balance of the geranium and the rose because the geranium in and of itself kind of gives off rosy qualities. So mm -hmm. it's nice that they chose to blend the two. I like this one. Reading up on Fragrantica, it seems that a lot of people seem to agree that this has a certain ashiness to it, which I don't pick up. And being that I'm now a year and a half ex-smoker, I'm pretty sensitive right. to smoky accords or 
anything kind of, you know, um, ashtray smelling. I don't get that here, thankfully. Um, there's a whole bunch of freshness, there's floral, and there's also um, just a tinge of leather. It's not overly leather to me, there just is a kind of a leather backbone. Yeah. But the, the, the freshness, the floral aspects definitely shine through for me. And thanks, I do not get that ashy cord. <laughs> do you? No, that's what I mean. Like it's musky, it's leathery, it's a little peppery and spicy, but I don't know if I would call this smoky or ashy. And even in the case of something like a Tuscan leather by Tom Ford, I know a lot of people often call that one ashy and this one smells nothing like it. <laughs> and so I'm trying to distinguish what is that leather characteristic that makes one perfume smell ashy and the, the other one not because I feel like in this one, that woodsy, peppery, minty thing is really overtaking the composition. And I must say that this lasts pretty long on my skin, my scent sponge eating skin, my <laughs> scent sponge eating skin. You got my, that right. My, I did? Yeah. It sounds wrong, but anyway, fragrances tend to not last on my skin. And I do moisturize, trust me, I take care of my face, I take care of my body post shower, but um, a lot of fragrances don't last as long as I'd like them to. Mm. This one does, lasts for a good amount of time and I enjoy it immensely. Yeah, I think it's definitely um, a darker expression from the types of fragrances that Jean-Claude Elena has done. Perhaps it's not the first fragrance that I would recommend from um, Frederick, Frederick Mall. Mall. If, if you know somebody out there looking for something bright and fresh and clean and you know like Bigarot Concentre is a fantastic orange dominant fragrance and so something like that I think is a little more playful and easy going however something like this on account of the rose and the leather you have to be a fan of some of the darker expressions in the perfume world to I think fully appreciate this one. Um uh, on the contrary, I personally don't find it dark. Darker for Jean-Claude Elena standards, but not sure. dark as a, as a fragrance. Uh, I had Imitsu come over recently to smell, you know, that other project that we're working on. Mm -hmm. And uh, he smelled that, and thankfully he liked that. But okay, this, good. he got a whiff of this, and he was like, wow. And E does not wow just like that. E Imitsu from Simply Put Sense, he knows what he likes and he knows what he doesn't like. He really dug this one. Nice. I cool. gave him the sample and then I went and got a bottle afterwards. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> You had to have it, right? No, but that's good that you're passionate about it and you really enjoy this one. And of course, I'm hoping that if you're watching this video, you have the opportunity to go out there and sample it for yourself because this company definitely has a lot of great creations. It is definitely pricey as are most of the collection. And whether the particular fragrance is for you or not, in terms of quality perfume, you do get what you pay for with this company. I don't think that there's one that is fleeting or anything like that, or that smells synthetic or screechy or spiky, you know, all I that other stuff. I wouldn't say so. No. no. They're done with a, a very um, fine brush and very artistic and very good fragrances, if you find the one that's right for your particular taste. Well, you guys, that's our thoughts on Frederick Mal, Rose and Queer, Sean Street, like we always do. Thanks for joining me, Stephen. My pleasure, of course. Always a pleasure to have you on. For you guys, I'd love to offer a time of the can. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Frank's Lover, subscribe to Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video with a big thumbs up, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today or what your favorite Frederick Mal fragrance is. We do hope that you enjoyed. As always, thanks for your love, thanks for your support, and until next time, you take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye.